All right, we'll try that again. Red Ivan, go. First one, go. Difficulty, go. Where's the tutorial off? There it is. Inner Sanctum. What is an Inner Sanctum? I don't know if we ever got to that building. So we built corridors, we built power stations, we built barracks, we built mess hall, we built staff. I don't know if we built a staff room. Didn't build a staff room. Didn't build an archive. I don't know if I'm gonna like this game chat. So I, I wanna give it a little bit more of a spot. I'm, I'm, feel, I'm kind of dreading it right now a little bit. It's kind of a weird feeling to go into it, but uh, I am kind of dreading it a little bit. I don't even like the idea of multi-floors. Oh, there is. Oh no. So what did I like about this game last time? I liked the rough, I liked the nostalgia for Dungeon Keeper and when the tutorial stopped talking to me. So I think the goal today is just to get a sense of if the game is fun in addition to having things to do, right? So I don't know how much cover operation we need, how much we'd have to expand for or not. Like make, I have no knowledge of any of that. So I think we're just gonna start building the rooms that we need to do. So, all right, first things first, we gotta get people. People, money, food, mess halls, etc. So, all right, let's let's take a let's take a second and recap because I'm about done here. Clearly, there's a number of base building things we could do differently, but literally, it's our first time building almost every one of these of room, um, every one of these rooms. So, a lot of your base building decisions seem to be based on well, how much room do I need for these, and what shape of the buildings do I need, and how like how deep do these things need to go, and then which and then what entrances do the enemies come in, and what can be nearer to the enemies for the least amount of annoyance. Sure, yeah, traps, etc. I guess I'm asking this question to you guys. Is this game fun at some point? So let me let me elaborate on that. Here's the bits that are slightly fun right now. It is slightly fun making decisions about your research. It is slightly fun making decisions about base layout a little bit. It is fun interacting with the incursions when it's clear that you're being incurred on and have resources to do that and understand what that is. I haven't found it very fun building these sets of room, rooms, and I think I'm probably gonna have to build these sets of rooms every single time I play. Um, I'm a little concerned that there isn't gonna be a lot of difference in the starts of games. It feels really slow paced this game at the moment. This map is a fucking miserable experience all around. I have to be on here constantly to generate money, but the way the, the missions spawn, especially the ones that reduce heat and the way it notifies me when things finish on there is really, really annoying. Um, research doesn't seem particularly reasonable either. It seems kind of unpleasant the way it's been set up. And I don't know, is it worth thinking about optimization of like locations of rooms off of scientists, chambers, etc.? Is it gonna get fun? Bro says no. It feels like chores. It does feel like chores, battle hag. That's a good way of putting it. It does feel like ticking off chores on this tick box, especially with the chores up here, right? You know, you can't get this until you do this in this pattern every single time. We haven't researched the front yet, Tom. We're doing that now. We can't even start with that. We have to ad abduct the valet to get money off the front end because it's an abandoned casino right now. Early game seems very slow, agreed. Optimization puzzle is fun. Maybe it doesn't look fun to me though. It looks the opposite of fun, especially when I don't have the knowledge of what the rooms do. So I'm optimizing, I'm trying to optimize before I even know what basic things are. Like what, and like the day, I haven't touched the decor at all. This interface is slightly better than I gave it credit for initially, but it's still not majorly intuitive. And these items versus decor, like, what do these do? Provides thirsty, okay, so hold on a minute. Let's take a look at this. So room type power, decor here, provides thirsty minions with water. Slows green star drain. I, again, like I, I liked the Dungeon Keeper 2 model of you build a room and it auto populates the furniture and or things that happen in that room. I'm not super excited about individually building things like this in here. I'm trying to optimize before knowing what things are. This is my problem, not the games. I, I think you mean well with that, but it's really hard for me to just like not to bite my tongue here about that. If you design a game where part of the penalty or reward of the game is the structure in which you build, but then you give the player no hints as to what the what the structure needs to look like, that, that means the first couple playthroughs is just punish for the player, right? Because they build a building and they find out, oh, you built a five by five. Sorry, it needed to be a five by six. So then they they fix it and they build a five by six and it goes, sorry, this is actually this room actually requires you build forty-seven thousand power generators to begin the game with. 
Now compare that to like the armory. Oh, you built an armory? Sorry, nothing can be built in your armory till later tech. Oh, you built your armory five by five? Turns out you only need a two by three armory. That type of stuff is just dumb. That's, that's, that's not fun for the player. It's certainly not fun for me. And maybe later it becomes more reasonable, but for the first couple playthroughs, the playthroughs that you're gonna decide as a player, whether or not you continue playing that game is just punish, right? Rebuilding rooms is painless. It doesn't feel painless. To rebuild a room here, especially on this stage, I have to move other things around. So I, I don't agree still. Like, what, 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 how, is it, how is it painless? I can't even move things. So like, I can't remember what game it was now. But one of the, there's, fuck, I don't remember which game it was. Chat, you'll probably remember as a group, right? There's some game where you used to be able to deconstruct things and store them. This game, you can't. You can move things, but I have to assign it immediately where it moves, right? So if I want to move this, which would make moving things around painlessly, I have to place it before I can do that. I can't just like be like, all right, break down my whole, I'm going to move my whole base around, break down everything, put it in the storeroom, I'll rebuild all my buildings, all my walls, etc. So if I have the knowledge about it, maybe that becomes less of a painful thing. And it, 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 again, it, you, you said it's about optimization and that's on me. I certainly like to optimize, but it's not even about optimization at the moment. At the moment, it's about fitting in enough power plants and getting my minions going so I get the engine of the, of the game running. It's it less challenging, but remains tedious. It's not challenging now. This is on the hardest difficulty and it's certainly not been challenging. I, I, I mean, perhaps I'm like slowly accruing, like I'm not, I'm not moving fast enough relative to the scaling of a game and I don't know about, so maybe I am dying or something. And I don't know it. It doesn't feel like it right now though. I guess I'm trying to figure out, do I want another playthrough of this ever? Like, would it, would I actually enjoy restarting with the knowledge I have about power plants and layouts of barracks and like frequency of bed count, etc.? Like, wouldn't it be nice sometimes? I don't know. Like, do I feel like an evil genius? No, I feel like, um, man, what would be the work equivalent of this? I feel like more like a, like an, an evil interior designer who is like, been told to complete a task, but not really been told what the client wants and the client keeps changing their mind about it as you build shit. Does that, does that make, does that like kind of put that in? And it feels like a really heavily managed like um, career where I really have someone looking over my shoulder, so I gotta do a lot of paperwork for it. How do you win? I don't know, world domination maybe? Like the thing, and honestly, this, this layer is, you know, it has its ups and its down this layer. The layer that's really killing me is this layer. Like I really hate this layer. Every time I open it up, and I'm forced to open it up probably like once a minute or so, I feel like realistically what I probably should have done to min max like my early income is I probably should have just spammed the fuck out of those control consoles and dropped locations on like every single one of these territories. And this is like risk territory. So there's like, you know, four or five per continent or something. So I probably should have about like 20 of those things out, 30 of those things out maybe to cover, to saturate this map for maximum gold incomes and not be restricted by that. I don't know, it, it just, I don't know, I, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. And it isn't super fun right now. And it might get more fun if I played it more, but I, I'm not actually convinced of that. And certainly there's some upfront costs on this. This is a carbon copy of the old game. It's funny. I didn't make it through the old game of Evil Genius 1. I didn't like it. All right, I don't know, chat. I guess I will reflect on this before tomorrow. Tomorrow either be probably a little bit more of this or possibly um, MTG Core Draft or something else if I figure out something else. But I, I feel, I have that issue of why do I care, right? Like that, that seems to be a pretty high, high priority right now is I don't know that I care. So I don't know, I, I don't know. It, it's, it's not awful, it's pretty chill. You know, it's a little, like the, the writing has got me giggling a couple times, although I, I imagine it's fairly repetitive, the writing. Like I enjoyed the interaction where the guy's like, what are these strings attached to my boots? That was cute, you know, like that kind of thing. This doesn't seem to be a lot of that. There's not a lot of interactions. It's just been on these. I don't really like how the the main, I don't like this quest line kind of thing, right? Like where I'm doing main quests as a, I, I guess it's to help guide the player in what to do, but it feels really, not handholdy. it feels really railroady, right? Like, okay, well, even to get the chance of recruiting better muscle, you have to go capture from the world and you can only capture one thing at a time it just, i don't know it's just anyways all right chat i think i am setting up to be done for today which is fine i guess we'll save this in case i ever want to play this again and uh leave it from there gets better after the tutorial well are we still in tutorial i don't think we are i think we started without the tutorial the tutorial was horrendous
Yeah, I, I see, but I, I attempted to start by um, I attempted to start by playing the tutorial. But the tutorial was so infuriating that I had to stop and restart without the tutorial because it was doing the stuff where it would like. It would keep. It would. It would decide at arbitrary moments to just to flash up that I had to do this thing. Often in the middle when I'm building another thing, and then all of my actions would like would would no longer register, even though I was in the menu trying to do something because I now had to immediately go do the tutorial thing. And it did that like 25 times to me, and I'm just like, oh my god, I can't handle any more of this. Like. Anyway.